Welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Videos with Nathaniel. Today, we will now some question 1 I of MIT Oxford 2018. This is the graph and you're expected to draw it. Now look at this graph. It seems a little formidable, right? Can't do it without a graphic calculator. But look, look at this. X8, X6, X4, X squared, X0. That's interesting, isn't it? Now look at the powers of y. y, y squared, or q, y and 4. Now look, x8 is x4 squared, so you can write that down. Or it could be x squared 4, x squared cube, x squared squared, x squared 1, x squared 0. Now, the other expression, y to the power of 0, y to the power of 1, y squared, y cubed, y4. Now, look at the coefficients. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Let me tell you a little something. Blaise Pascal invented, uh, I mean, independently discovered this triangle because it was invented in China, in India, and in Iran, and it has lots of different names. And anyway, in modern mathematical literature, this is called Pascal's Triangle. You start with a 1 at the top, and you have 1s on the sides. A number below is add up, make, like, adding the two numbers above it. Let's stop here. Look, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Is that a freak coincidence? No. It's just that the Pascal's Triangle is that versatile that it can solve a binomial expansion. This is what we mathematicians call a binomial expansion. So this expression can simplify to x squared plus y to the power of 4. Because if you look at the coefficients, it's the fourth row of Pascal's triangle. No, actually it's the fourth because it starts with zero row. I know it's a bit confusing but get used to it. A lot of mathematics things start with zero. And the powers of 4x squared go descending, powers of, and the powers of y go ascending. Now, x squared plus y, 4 and 2, equals to x squared plus y to the power of 8. That we are asked to solve x squared plus y to the power of 8 equals to 1. This is the graph that we want x squared plus y equals 2, we don't care about complex ones here, 1 or minus 1, so that means y equals to 1 minus x squared, or minus 1 minus x squared. Pretty cool, huh? Let's draw our graph here, so this is 1 and this is minus 1, this is minus 1 and this is 1. As you can see, they never quite reach each other. There you have it. This rather formidable looking expression, as we dissect it, this becomes a binomial expansion which can be collapsed readily with the help of Pascal's triangle. Since Pascal's triangle is so versatile, you can go check its properties up on the internet. And which Pascal's triangle is so fun that there even is a group that devoted to it. And there are too many number properties devoted to Pascal's triangle. Anyways, Thank you and find more Pascal's triangle properties yourself. See you. Bye.